Lots of jokes involve, you know, these themes, like guy, a guy goes in a bar and so on. There's a lot of jokes that start with two guys stranded at night and they have to shelter in a barn. There's a surprising number of jokes that go like that. So here it goes. Two men, right, and uh, in the middle of the night, are stranded. So they go to a farmhouse, they knock on the door and say, we're stranded, can we stay the night? And the woman that answers the door says, I'm here on my own, there's no way you're coming in here, but you can sleep in the barn. And they think, thank you very much. So they go and they sleep in the barn, and the next morning they get up and they leave. Five years later, one of them receives a letter from a lawyer, and he opens it. Can't believe what he's reading. So he phones his mate and says, hey, do you remember that night five years ago when we went, we were lost and we slept in that barn? And, you know, and the guy said, yeah, I remember that. He said, well, tell me, did you get up in the middle of the night and go and join that woman in the barn house? He said, I did. He said, I didn't think you'd mind. He said, no, I don't. He said, then, did you by any chance lie to her and say that you'd give her my name? He said, he, he said I did. He said, I hope you don't mind. He said, I don't, because she just died and left me five million pounds. <laughs> 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 right, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking of trickery, here's, here's one. Um, it's, it's a New Zealand song. It's, it's a, a fairly recent New Zealand song written by a man called Bob Bickerton. And, again, it's a common story. There's a very, very common set of stories in which a young man, he's either a sailor or, or, or you know, or he's from Canada, he's a lumberjack, you know, or, you know, he, he could be in Scotland, he'd be a ploughboy, but he's, uh, he's paid off and he's got all his six months pay in his pocket and he comes to town intent on having a good time. And usually he meets this nice young woman who invites him home to meet her mother and 16 sisters in a nice wee house round the back, you know. And, and everything seems to go well till the next morning he wakens up and he finds he's lost his trousers and his money. And, and then... He's a sadder, wiser, and poorer man as a result, right? So, I mean, the most common the, the most common version of that is one called Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? You know that one? As I went down by Broadway one evening in July, I met a maid, she asked my trade, a sailor John, says I, and the way you shanty, my dear Annie, oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? They're looking at me like, why are they singing that song? Because that's, that's a well-known version of that. And Paul, like the Pogues and people like that recorded this. So this is one from New Zealand called The Close Shave. Come gather round, you diggers all, who works the gold so rare. It's all the trick was played on me, which caused me to despair. I came to town the other day, my hard and gold to trade. And there I met a bonny lass who has my heart betrayed. For oh, her lips were red as roses, her eyes a bonny blue. Her hair was yellow as the gold she stole from me and you. She took me to a public house, and there we did imbibe. Whiskey and strong porter and many things beside. And then she asked me up to bed, to which I did agree. But sad to say I fell asleep before she earned her fee. For her lips were red as roses and her eyes a bonny blue. Her hair was yellow as the gold she stole from me and you. When I awoke next morning, no trousers could I find. But scattered all around the room were ladies' clothes so fine. My jacket, shoes and gold was gone, and all that's left behind was a lady's dress, a yellow wig, and a shaving kit, not mine. <laughs> oh, her lips were red and roses, her eyes a funny blue. Her hair was yellow as the gold she stole from me. Why did she need a wig? Why did she need to shave? Then the truth it struck me in a fit of blinding rage. My bonny maid's a man, said I, thank God I never woke. 
but I'd rather lose my bag of gold than wake up with that blow. <laughs> Our lips are red as roses and their eyes are bonny blue. Her hair was yellow as the gold she stole from me. To venture on the street again, next morning I incline. I had a shave put on that wig, and I wore that dress so fine. And as I walked along the road, a digger gave a wink. And I thought of all the gold he had, so I offered him a drink. <laughs> but her lips are red as roses, and her eyes are bunny blue. Her hair was yellow as the gold she stole from me. And 